1857 mass killing stood as the most deadly act of terrorism by Americans against Americans until the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. You've probably never heard how Mormons massacred 150 people in a wagon train on their way to California. We had been persecuted as we moved from New York, Ohio, Illinois, and Missouri. A mob had murdered our prophet Joseph Smith. In Utah, we found freedom and a hard life on the frontier. The only connection we had to the rest of civilization? Wagon trains headed to the California Gold Rush. Wagon trains meant so much to us. They brought us what we couldn't make for ourselves. Rifles, frying pans, horseshoes. We traded flour, bread, and meat for these things. Brigham Young ordered us to kill them. And we killed. We killed the men, women, and children. Yes, children. Even if they hadn't reached the age of accountability, we killed children under eight years old if we thought they would bear witness against us later. That was the Mormon church in 1857. In 1999, bones were accidentally dug up at Mountain Meadows. Utah Governor Mike Levitt immediately had them reburied to cover up the atrocity. Allegedly, Governor Levitt is a direct descendant of one of the Mormon murderers. Do you wonder what church leaders said to him behind closed doors? And what would you find if you went undercover in the Mormon church today? <laughs>